When I was a very young artist, not very long after I left art school, I got a studio. I thought that's what is, you should do as an artist. You get a studio and you start making things. And I struggled with that for a few years. And suddenly I decided to step away from the studio and work outside. Everything changed after that. The whole world sort of became my studio. I came to Newfoundland primarily because my maternal ancestors are from Newfoundland. This place does have so much meaning for me and this ecosystem, the scale of it, the scale of the trees, the kind of plants that are here, the shapes and textures of this particular ecosystem, I, I, I just find it beautiful. I love it so much. This has become the basis and the focus of all my work. I've discovered that I, if I leave things to chance, if I leave things to just what's already there, things will emerge that is way better than anything I could have imagined. I've received so many wonderful things that are astonishing absolutely astonishing just by paying attention to what's there. I mean, I really just did the work I did for an investigation. It was all just an inquiry. It was all coming from my own curiosity. If I do this, let's just see what will happen. Sometimes to express my idea, I use a stone, and sometimes I use a photograph, and sometimes a video. But the uh, ideas behind them have always been the same. My curiosity about our relationship to the natural world. <laughs>